the latest software update for hardware three Teslas. Let's take a look. This is the first look at the new holiday update. So you can see this clock icon. That means I have a pending software update. But if you have an older Tesla that has one of these, click on additional vehicle information. You see this infotainment processor. The Intel Atom processors lack three features. So let's look at the features I do get. Software update right here. This is the new holiday update. So now I get a live dog mode updates to my Tesla. It'll send me screenshots occasionally if you're in that dog mode to check on your pets. So now you can filter your driving clips, sentry mode by certain filters. So you can see the steering wheel position if self-driving was being used or not during these new filters. So Santa mode, light shop, a new paint shop feature with Tesla wraps, general improvements to navigation and HOV lanes. This one's cool. You get a phone left behind chime. If you leave your phone behind, uh, behind you, then the Tesla will give you a reminder. So save charging limit by location. So this one's kind of cool. Uh, depending on your location, you can actually customize your charge limit. And of course there's minor security and software updates. Now there's three features that you're not going to get. Uh, one is the live supercharging map. Uh, that's not gonna be in your Tesla. If you have an older Tesla, you are not going to have a Grok as well. And honestly, I'm blanking on the, second, the third one. So if you know the third one, put it down in the comment section below. But this is the first time that my hardware three Tesla is going to get the software update. So not too bad. Oh, I remember it's the Tesla Photoshop. So it's a selfie mode with filters and stickers that uses the internal camera in your Tesla. But that's a review the first time. That's what yours is gonna look like if you have an older Tesla with hardware three. Now you know.